<laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello and welcome to the Emerald Cottage Sessions. Um, oh, we are delighted to be here. Um, yeah. My name is Kate O'Callaghan and this is Seamus Devaney. And, uh, and this is probably going to be the most heavily scripted performance you'll have ever witnessed. Oh yeah, word perfect. Including my, my <laughs> uh, violin rest for um, so uh, yeah, no, we're really, really happy to have been invited along to play these sessions. Um, and uh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous <laughs> building really cool. to do a gig in, huh? Yeah, yeah. this is really, really beautiful. Um, so we hope you are all as comfortable as we are. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to just play you some songs, and hopefully you will enjoy it. <laughs> so that yeah. first song. That first song was a song of uh, of my last album, and um, it's called "Rising Men Down." The album was called "The Girl with the Beret," and it was a 1916 concept album. So it was inspired by the stories um, of uh, from my great uh, great grand aunt, uh, Katie Byrne, and uh, she was involved in the 1916 Rising in Dublin, and uh, she. Um, Yes, she, she was involved in the Rising and she continued on to be involved in the War of Independence. Um, and uh, she, all of her stories were recorded um, in a witness statement report, which is logged with the Bureau of Military History. And so this is where I found uh, all mm, of her check stories. Check all this stuff out yourself, Google it. Um, yeah, it's all room. online. Um, and it's, it's very, very interesting, uh, not just for, for myself, like, but from an historical point of view, because you're getting, you're getting all of those personal stories and there's loads and loads of these uh, witness statement reports online. So um, you're getting all these personal stories from people that were involved directly at the time, you know, um, which is always very interesting. So we are actually making a part two of this, uh, of this uh, story um, of uh, Katie Burns and um, at the moment we have just uh, written this the second part the, the, which will hopefully be a, a second album if we ever get the money to record it <laughs> um, but it's called Small Behaviours and so um, following the 1916 Rising she went on to Scotland and she was running guns back from Scotland into Dublin Harbour and, um, and up the River Liffey so uh, this next song is called Owen Liffa, which is uh, the Irish for River Liffey, which is uh, basically means the river of life. Um, and there's a bit of an irony there as well, because in 1916, uh, the British used the, uh, the River Liffey to bring a gunship up the River Liffey to bomb the GPO and the buildings around Dublin. Um, so they used the very river of life to... Uh, to cause a lot of death and destruction. Um, so this one's called Owen Liffa. We'd like to dedicate this to a friend of ours in Dublin, Tim. Um, and we've shared this song with him many, many times. This goes out to you, Tim. Cheers. <laughs> I go back 
Super stuff. Ooh. Not some heavy uh, <laughs> Irish uh, inspired music. <clears throat> yeah, so maybe, um, we'll, uh, maybe we'll go for something a little Yeah, a little, we'll go for something lighter a little lighter. Um, let me see. We'll, uh, oh, I will play you a song that I wrote about our honeymoon. That's oh, lighter. By the way, we're married, and um, just for anybody. Just why we're, we're we're not. Um, <laughs> uh, what is it? Socially the prerequisite distancing. distance. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. And, yeah. <laughs> we're bubbling. We're bubbling, baby. Um, That's a good phrase. I like that. <laughs> we're bubbling. Uh, so How are you uh, doing? a bubbling, few thanks. a few years ago, just a few years ago, <laughs> we uh, we got hitched, and um, and uh, for our honeymoon we went to America, and we went out to. Uh, these islands uh, called Fox Islands. Uh, off the main coast. Yeah. Yeah, the north, coast. north um, east, I guess. And yeah. one of the islands uh, that we landed on was called Vinyl Haven. Yep. That's a great name for an yep. album, or, or an, an album. It is a great name for an album, but it's a great name for an island. Yeah. Uh, Vinyl Haven. So, yeah, so I wrote this. Uh, Idyllic, beautiful place. If you have the opportunity, go. It's really cool. <laughs> It's only 12 miles off the coast, you can nearly swim it. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah, go for it. In fact, I'll sit this out. Gentle lapping of glistening sun. 
Hey. All right. And that just transported me right back. <laughs> That was a few years ago. Super chilled and a lot warmer than it is right now in Ireland because it's um, quite cool. Yes. Um, yeah. It was almost crunchy on the way here. Let's put it that way. It's Christmas. It is it's actually Christmas, Christmas time. And it won't, you won't hear a sleigh bell or see a sleigh bell either. Um, that's a promise or a threat. I don't know how you look at it. Um, so recently we were asked, when I say recently, Jeepers, time is slipping by. It's been a long year and a short year in a lot of ways, but uh, some of it has just hasn't been marked. But a pal of ours and a relative of Kate's, Peter Dorn, asked us to play a tune at his wedding. We fell in love with it. Absolutely gorgeous. And um, it's by an American singer-songwriter, and uh, I'm gonna remember her name right now. Mm -hmm. It'd be great. No, Joanna Newsom. I'm impressed. I know what <laughs> happens from time so, to time. Yeah, so but, this is a it's a Joanna Newsom yeah. song, but um, Joanna Newsom is a harp player. She is. So yeah. um, oh maybe maybe do Emerald make harps? Ah, no, mm -hmm. there's one for maybe you, Alistair. A harp. Ah, no. uh, there's a sideline. Well, well, we'll just have to play it on the guitar for the moment. Otherwise, I would have you know of I'll course help you uh, played beautiful harp. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but anyway, this is our version of this uh, so glad beautiful we scripted song. This. And uh, the song. I'm so glad. <laughs> the song is called Clam, Crab, Crab. Cockle, Cowrie. So, well done. There we go. <laughs> Just staying with our sea theme. <laughs>
Wow. So suddenly transported back to a wedding ceremony. <laughs> that, that tune was the entrance tune as it were, right? So, you know, you're cycling the tune. Of course, the bride is traditionally late. And the tune is only a certain length. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of what <laughs> at a lot the of, end. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's the one thing I remember about that. That's amazing, yeah, it's really cool. All the lovely memories. Mm. So, and I guess there's a moral and, you know, something you can learn from this is when you're choosing your entrance to make sure it's got a good looping in section that you're not going to get bored with. There it is. Get your you tips right here at Emerald Guitars, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, so I'm going to... Well, aside from trying to tune the tune, um, I'm going to play... I might play another song actually from that 1916 album, The Girl cool. with the Beret. Um, I make sure I'm in tune now. Um, this one's called Lay, and uh, during that week of the Rising, uh, she was uh, she was she was inside the GPO building, and she was uh, helping, uh, tending to the wounded, and um, just uh, doing whatever she could generally. Um, she was a member of Common Amon, you know, so uh, all of the, 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 the female members would have been um, enlisted for that week to help. Most of them were, would have been over in Liberty Hall and stuff, but she actually ended up being um, in the GPO um, along with a few others. And, but one of the things she was asked to do was to run dispatches. So these would have been little notes, messages back and forth to the other buildings. And, you know, there was... There was a fire, and um, she was she would have been running under fire, um, and she was told by her superiors uh, when she was given a note to run over to say Liberty Hall or the Four Courts or whatever that she would um, that they would hold their fire uh, while she ran to allow her safe passage, um, but quite often this didn't actually happen, and she described actually running under fire. So uh, and just. Um, inspired me to write this song but she also described about how she was running and um, sometimes she would have to take you know obviously not go the main route and go through back passages and stuff and alleyways and laneways and and uh, she actually was running through a tenement building at one stage and and a woman uh, she was exhausted and a woman a woman offered her a chair to sit on and rest for a little while before she continued on her way and so the beautiful human stories um, and so anyway so this is uh, this kind of describes that and it's called lay Always a good idea. Well, good to try anyway. <laughs> um, okay, okay, here we go. Lay. Here I come, hold your fire. Here I run, hold your. offered me safe passage if I could lay
It might not come across, but the acoustics in here are absolutely unbelievable. And um, I don't know what it would be like to play like a, a loud rock gig in here. It might be a bit much, but for acoustic instruments, well, it's the home of Emerald. It's going to be that, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, everything yeah. just resonates and yeah, rings out beautifully in here. Including their guitars <laughs> <which> also <laughs> resonate like something yeah. else. Um, I hope it's coming across. Yeah, actually. Yeah, so this is like, this is the first time that I have played um, an emerald guitar and uh, this model is, I have to do an advertisement here now, this model is an X7 for any of you who do not know and um, this is their, I suppose it's like a, a parlour guitar yeah. sort of uh, model yeah. um, and um, but it's really beautiful but it's quite unusual, you know, because it has a sound hole here and, and not here. Um, and um, but uh, yeah, in that my was very, 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 very it is, listen, this is the most technical report you're going to get. <laughs> on guitars, okay, um, but they're uh, really cool. We've really enjoyed. We've but they are. Playing, it's been so much. It's been so much fun, and it's really kind of opened my eyes to yeah to to, to possibilities uh, mm. which are endless, and um, and it's also very very shiny. Um, and gorgeous. The lights, so pretty. the lights actually probably just getting <laughs> all of my fingerprints all over it as well, like all of my smudges. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. A very beautiful instrument. I've definitely been caught staring at the front because uh, there's an amicus here as well too. But for those of you who are aware of these things, mm. I don't even know if there's an equivalent uh, mm. instrument on the planet other than this one that Emerald make. But it's like a twelve-string um, guitar style double strung 12 string really short scale and uh the front of it's so gorgeous i've been staring at it going it's like it's like some incredible fractal it's beautiful very very beautifully turned out instrument mm. but yeah in here this is a perfect spot for it isn't it yes, it's gorgeous yeah well we do burning stars well why not sure i'll play an amicus then um, yes yeah i should put this on my violin stand and um, and yeah. free myself do you do up this? here. Do you do this fancy thing in here for burning stars? No. No, I'm not going to do that fancy thing. Okay, do this fancy thing. This is a fancy enough okay. thing, I think, here. <laughs> uh, so I should ask the crew, have you got an amicus coming through there? Okay, you're all good. Lovely stuff. Okay, now well, this one's called 
burning stars and um, I don't really know what it's about. You can decide for yourself. <laughs> okay. Put that on the sleever note of the album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You're going to start it. No, you're going to take it away. Oh, will I start it? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. You want that one? <laughs> Can you feel it? Feel it in your bones? Can you taste it? Just below the sweetness, but above the
the tune again. Yeah, and I'll put this away. <laughs> but I think, honestly, every studio in the world should own one of these. Just when you want somewhere else to go. <clears throat> and then you can just look at it in between. Kind of handy. It does. Acoustic, audio and visual. Uh, right. Yeah, so I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do another new one, I think. Uh, do I know it? I, you might just <laughs> just about. Um, <laughs> so this is uh, this is another one of the the anti Katy themed songs, and um, so uh, as I said, the second part of the the project is is when she uh, is when she heads off to Scotland and then comes back and then it's it basically covers her involvement during the War of Independence, and um, so uh, and the most amazing thing about I think about that story m most of all is um, is the actions of the women at the time, because she was just an ordinary girl involved in 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 an extraordinary time in history. Um, and uh, and there were lots and lots of women involved in the 1916 Rising and the War of Independence that followed. Um, and their actions were very, very courageous at the time, however small um, they may have been um, and seemingly insignificant at the time. Their behaviours actually brought about social change um, over time, you know, to bring us to where we are today, um, and so uh, yeah, so this this song is kind of about that, and and it's also the the title of the the the, the whole project, which is called Small Behaviors. So I shall I shall play Small Behaviors. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, take it away. You know, rough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do it again. Sideways glance, you play the dance to be in a game. A flick of your hair, a question, a stare to bring you where you, you have broken rain. Small 
probably should explain as well too that like the last album uh the the, the, the first collection of 1916 related tunes the album runs start to finish which doesn't give us a very satisfactory ending to that tune it just kind of stops doesn't it but on the album it runs straight into uh uh, a, a big kind of string section and then goes on to the next tune. So. Yeah, it kind of flows <laughs> yeah. continuously. Although I think it ends fine. Yeah. <laughs> I like, well, I'm going used to it. We did it deliberately to annoy people on um, Spotify who just let, dip in and out of albums. Yeah, it definitely doesn't work on Spotify. Um, seamless, seamless Or rather, we albums. find out that it doesn't work on Spotify. Yeah, yeah it don't work on Spotify. Yep. Ruined. Or iTunes. Or... <laughs> Or any of those <laughs> things platforms. that just want to sell you songs, mm -hmm. individual units. Um, yeah, this, this kind of thinking outside the box is just, uh, no, 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 that doesn't fit at all. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to do a, we do Broken Child. Yeah, cool. Um, I would like to use a thing. Seamus is now going to use a thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so glad we scripted Another this. Another thing. So uh, yeah, thanks again. Um, thanks again to to Emerald Guitars oh, for everybody at Emerald. inviting yeah. us along. Um, we're really really delighted again to to be here, and um, and we hope you're enjoying the set. Uh, we're going to do another few tunes for you anyway, um, and uh, this one's called Broken Child.
Stay on our uh, yeah. on our uh, theme of uh, of uh, sleep and uh, lullabies. Yeah, maybe. weirdly connected to sleep deprivation. This one as well, too. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, this one was actually written for a friend. Uh, uh, it was inspired by our friend's child, who um, wasn't sleeping very well, um, and uh, so uh, so we decided to write this. Uh, for her, her name is Sophie, and uh, Sophie lives in in Westport. So uh, Hi, Sophie, Sophie Westport. gets to watch this. She's a little bit bigger now, and hopefully sleeping a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this one's called Lullaby. Here we go. <laughs>
ones are so free <laughs> in Westport. Okay, I'll do this one. This, this, is, a, this is another cover. This is a, a Kate Bush tune. <coughs> um, and this is, well, it's our version of it anyway. Yeah, take it away. Oh, maybe not. Um. behind it all. This is all your fault, you know, all of this. Well, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take responsibility for this. <laughs> no, <laughs> do you know what? It, it's not all my fault. 
it's uh, it's been myself, and my wife's um, dream and vision to to kind of bring this all together, and uh, an amazing bunch of artisans have put the building back together, and amazing musicians now right, playing in it. So it's th this was not derelict or close to derelict very very uh, recently i mean a year ago there was uh, the the roof had fallen in actually the roof in this building it finally decided it was time it had a new roof uh, and it had, <laughs> it had sat there and then about a year ago we've been talking about this for a long time yeah and then a year ago the roof decided it was uh, it was time to fall in okay so the roof so just was, went yeah do it now it's like Alistair. it's time yeah. time to be done yeah, and uh, and we had a we had a local thatcher that uh, that rethatched the roof. Yeah, um, we had local stone masons that come in and, and rebuilt all the stones, mm -hmm. and, and it's incredible. And most, so, most people aren't going to be aware, but we're out in the countryside here. I mean, this is proper Ireland, and uh, we were driving up the road wondering, wonder where this place is, and then instantly saw the roof. <laughs> the thatch yeah, roof it, in the it's, it's brand new thatch roof. That's got to be it. It's, it's beautiful. It's become a bit of a landmark. I've yeah. flown over it in a little aeroplane, a, yeah. little, a little 1948 uh, Piper aeroplane. Who does and, that? Uh, and you look down and you, and you just can see this thatch roof and it's amazing. Yeah, so that's it's, so cool. It's cool. So pilots now are using it as a as yeah, navigation yeah, sure, tool. As a, so. a, a, yeah, spot. And the window. window and the window, the window came, uh, I found it in the salvage yard. Brilliant. And it came out of a, a church in Fawn. Ah, no way, uh, local, yeah. Apparently, so that, that was, uh, yeah. yeah. So it was great to be able to bring that back to life That's as really well. Cool. It, was, uh, it was restored by Art Glass. And um, yeah, so everything is, you know, it's, it's, it's got so much history. And I was just thinking, you know, as you were singing those songs, um, you know, telling stories from back in 1916. And I was just yeah. thinking, you know, 1916, this was an old building. This building's you know, all of this, yeah. it's It's seen that mm -hmm. and and a whole lot more yeah. and uh, so it's it's just amazing to have um, those stories being told in here yeah yeah but, but, history. Yeah. but also that it's become a hub for a creative enterprise which is something that that we as humans need to be doing more and more and more of and being creative and being productive and the fact that it's become a hub for that mm. is a very very cool thing yeah it's very cool and yeah. having been here Makes, I totally understand it. I get it. Yeah. 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 You know, and I think there, there's something special in this space and we're, we're just yeah. making it more and more special every right. week. There's definitely so. going to be a lot more history made here Absolutely. Than, I think, in the years to yeah. come. That's right. <laughs> well, well, thanks for coming. You know, I really, really oh, appreciate it. It's, uh, so it's, been, it's... it's been so nice. And, you know, this is, uh, is this our fifth or sixth week. And uh, every week it's something entirely different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, just amazing songs and, and stories. And, that's the other thing um, too, yeah, it's been kind of um, very special because we're following <laughs> in the footsteps of some awesome, awesome, awesome musicians yeah. in the last few weeks, so it's been really fun and, and watch and, the space. I and guess. all local talent, you know, just it's yeah. great to be able to highlight uh, to our audience that's right around the world, um, just the, the local musicians that are around here that inspire us, you know, when we build our guitars, you know, it's, right. it's the music that inspires it. So, uh, so next week um, we have an exciting one because we've got all the Emerald team uh, oh, are going cool. to be playing. So, uh, so that's going to be a good, a good one. So, uh, so tune in uh, next Wednesday um, and uh, at uh, at nine p.m. Irish time. So, I hear the Emerald team singing their songs. Uh, a few Christmas carols, I think, and awesome. uh, something very festive. Maybe a few words from me. <laughs> when? Super. So, have you got one more song for us? We'd love to play. We do. One more song. We do. We have Fantastic. to finish off with one more song, especially okay. for you. Dedicated to yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. This one's, this one's going to be, uh, yeah, it's called Stone by Stone. So. Oh, wow. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Stone Thanks again. by Stone, all the, surrounded by sitting in stone. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Heart open wide No armor have you built inside Just stepping stones you place before 
Thank you for having us here, and happy Christmas to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.